Okay, I just got done doing a video of my bedroom with this little guy. Nothing big. And now we're going to put it, get it on your computer. So, let's go back to, it, there's two ways of doing it, but the first way I'm going to do it is with this. This comes with it. It also comes with the regular USB cable and data. So let's just use this one for now. This gets plugged. This gets, this gets stuck in there. Make sure it's on, I imagine. That's how I've been doing it. Stick it inside your USB port on your computer. Okay, we got video. Okay, this is nothing. It's a software I've been using to, man to manage my videos and pictures where I want them to go. Close this out. Now go to start menu. Go to your start menu, left corner, bottom. Go to my computer. Now mine's going to be under removable disk E. Yours can be F. Let's see, let's see now. E, F, and maybe even an A. I'm not sure, but E and F are more popular. Click on that. There's your folder from your Snake Eye Phantom Cam. Click on it again. And there's the video. There's the video I took of my bedroom. I know it got blurry. There it is. So, now, let's just take this video and not drag and drop it because then you'll leave it on. You, if you drag and drop it, it means it stays on here, the copy, and you have it on your computer. I recommend that you remove you move it. So you can see it, it says AVI video format. It's an AVI video format. It records AVI at 640 by 480 resolution. So if I click, if I click it, well no, oh no, mind that one. So if I click. Slide it over here, right there, and then it's going to tell you what you want to do. Copy here. I want to move it off my cam. So then your camera is completely empty, and there's no videos on it. Then you can start taking more. Take about 15 seconds to upload a about a minute video, which isn't bad. That's done. Now your folder and videos are off. Your video, the folder is completely empty. That means there's nothing on it. You can continue videoing when you need to. Close that out. Unplug your device. And that's it, guys. That's all to it. Just by using this. This and this works. Don't gotta worry about taking this out. Unless you chose to take this out. Stick it inside of a, a um, adapter. Which I have here in my drawer. Take this and stick it in here. Make sure it's not locked. You know the procedure. Why do it that way? You just keep your your card inside your cam at all times. And it's by using this. This and this in a computer is fine. Otherwise you can use a USB data cable if you want to use that. You can. Now, I'm going to play this back. See how it looks. See if my computer, this little netbook, seems can play AVI videos well enough. It's gonna wait. Not bad.
my bedroom, part of it, is my one or desk, a logo, speaker, camcorder, lamp, two computer chairs, and my video editing. That's my bedroom, guys. Not bad, huh? Pretty good video quality. Here's my little how I do my reviews with the uh, JBC, which I am proud owner. So this is just going to let you know how to get your videos from here. Venom, Snake, I Cam, or on TV. That's it, guys. Let's play one more time because I think it came out really good. Full size this now, guys, on your real player. This is from the Snake Eye Cam. It's not bad quality. I seen worse on cell phones. Not bad, but since I got you guys on here watching this, let's check out another player that this might be able to be played on. Let's try Windows Media Player, which some people like to use. Open with Windows Media Player. Is this going to handle an AVI? It should. That's what I use. Let's see how this works. Yeah, it works good. Turn the volume up. Okay, guys, you can see it plays on the Windows Media Player. It plays on a real one player. We all know this works. No, no, no matter what, there's always a player to play back your videos. Now I want to try one more that I like. I love using because you can minimize it small and it looks beautiful when it's small and tight. And I'll show you what I mean. Quick player, Apple. Let's see if it works with AVI. It should. I'm, I'm 100% sure on this. You may get a warning, but you just close out that out and then it plays. And maybe it won't. I don't know. Let's check that out quick. Take a little time for Apple to recognize it, I guess. It should be up already by now. But I don't know what's going on. Quick time player. Hourglass is still there. There it is. Now it might pop up twice because I clicked on it twice. Yep, I was right it would. <laughs> Let's just do the first one. Okay, there it is. Took a little time but it to recognize it, but it it got on here. Now I gotta do one thing. I gotta like I like I say, minimize it, size it. So this is going to make it where you can Grab the bottom of it, I think. There you go. You grab the you grab the tip of it with your mouse and just make it smaller. That's the size I like to, to work with. And I also like to use this size too. This is my preference. Now let's see how this looks. Right now. Quick time Apple player. Yep, it plays. Plays in three players, Real One, Windows Media Player, and your Apple Quick Player, AVI. It's, it's, it's pretty good though, I like this, I like this camera. Hey, look at that, beautiful. It's better than a cell phone video. That looks good, nice and vibrant. See that? 
That looks much brighter with this player than the other two. You see that? So that's it, guys.